Hey guys, how's it going? We are recording, ready to go. All right, welcome back to Ready Carol. This is my first ever mouse review video. And what we have over here is the Husky HSK Ace Edition. It's gonna zoom in, perfect. So this is gonna be the super small um, um, fingertip mouse. And obviously, if there, if I have proper thumbnail ready to go, we should, you guys should be able to see that properly. Um, so here we go. Here is the package. It came with a plastic cover on top, which I kind of got rid of. Um, but this is my mouse right now, the super light, pretty big. So the one, main, one of the main reasons I'm looking to get a different, um, or at least trying to find a main, um, mouse mice is, uh, that's kind of cool. What's happening over here. It's like weird lighting. Anyways. Um, the reason is because the super light is a bit too big for my hands. Um, you know, and I, I'm more of a finger chip user, so it's kind of weird. Should've done more research, but, um, besides the point. The Husky. Let's let's look at the specs real quick. Uh, I'm gonna turn this uh, self lighting on so you guys can kind of see the specs here. We're gonna, we're gonna run through it real quick. There you go. So we got the HSK Ace Edition tracking via the sensor is the 3389, um, and we got a responsive rate of 1000 hertz, which is a I guess at this point industry standard for gaming mice. And everything else, you guys can check that out. But that's kind of the main things. We got 1000 hertz and the sensor. Uh, and I don't know much about the uh, software that these guys have uh, for G Wolves, but it shouldn't be too bad, in my opinion. Let's try it out here. It's like flying down slowly. Plop. All right. We're gonna put this inside so it's kind of compact and nice. We got some plastic casing. What's this? Excuse me. It's like a box inside of a, you know what? This is a, it's a matrix level decode, decodation. All right, so we got a free box then, I'm guessing. Not a free box, this was pretty expensive. We got this for $75, 72 before tax. What tax, like, right, let's just estimate to 80, 80, 80 bucks on Amazon. I will put the link down in the video for you guys to look at it, but. I would wait till Black Friday to honestly get it. All right, so we have a metal box. Kind of cool. Is it metal? Hope you guys can hear it. Um, cool. Go ahead and pop this open. We have a envelope from G Wolves. This accessory cannot be returned or exchanged after being used. Okay. Oh, wow. So we have some grip tapes here. What else do we have? Skates. Oh, you guys got, we have, we have um, skates for the bottom. That's cool. That is nice, actually. I didn't expect that to be there. What is this? I'm guessing this is to get rid of all the... Um, so no, no like bugs in here, I guess. That's cool. Uh, okay, so this envelope had a few skates and looks like a somewhat of a manual looking thing. I don't know, this furry thing, or maybe that's her logo. I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, that's besides the point. We're gonna look at the the rub, uh, the the grip tapes again, real quick. It feels um, nothing too crazy. It's just like. Standard rubber. Um, oh my god, oh my god, you guys can see that. Okay. Here we go. What is this? We have a brush. Why is there a brush? What is this for? Okay. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is why we're here. The HSK fingertip mouse. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna change the 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 backlight a bit because I know it's like the it's a bit too bright. I think there you go. Okay, okay. So the lighting should be a bit better. Um, so this is our guy. Um, looks fine. Looks. Quality, there's no, no, it's nothing. Obviously, there's more better, uh, better YouTube out there that kind of. Oh wow, the clicks are actually really nice. Wait a second. Hold on. 
I'll bring the mic a bit closer so you guys can hear this. These clicks are solid, bro. Damn, then there's a, there were some complaints about the mouse wheel. Uh, it is, it is kind of hard to it is kind of hard to use actually. It's like it's a, it's like you have to definitely put a lot of pressure for it to like go in. But the the quality of this mouse is amazing. I, uh, amazing in the sense that I'm I'm uh, shocked by how good it is. Cause I I always like heard reviews like it was actually not that good or something. Okay, this is this is interesting. So now I'm gonna compare it with the Logitech uh, Super Light size comparison. Are you guys ready? Look at that. So let's face it towards the camera here. So this is from the front. You can't see much, but when you look at it from the side, look at this. Let's put this guy over here. Um, pretty light. It's supposed to be like 38 grams uh, without the wire. With the wire, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some sort of weight um, issue. But oh my god, bro. Let's go. This feels awesome. All right. Um, and then I'll show some gameplay uh, or, or some Valorant clips. Uh, not Valorant, sorry. Um, Aim Labs. Uh, and should I put more skates? I think this is fine, honestly. Uh, even grip. This is like this is super grippy already. The the plastic coating on this, or the coating of this plastic is amazing. Um, but yeah, like other than that, this is uh, pretty good. Fingertip user over here, so it's like amazing. You can go all the way in the back, uh, and it fits pretty well in the hands. It's not like super bad or anything. Um, but yeah, like I just needed a replacement for this this guy because this guy is a bit too big for me. You know, like it doesn't have too much back space. It's kind of limiting. But oh my god, I'm excited. Okay. All right, so this is a top level view. Um, I just also wanted to say like the scrolling aspect was really cool. And there's uh, uh, lights. And over here, you can see there, there. this is the UI for this specific mouse model. Um, and I'm just gonna look at this uh, with you. So it looks like there's only three buttons. As you know, this mouse does not have side buttons. Uh, and I'm just gonna do the DPI settings really quick. So show DPI notifications, okay. So how do you check? So let's look at the RGB. Um, what is this for basic okay let's go to advanced uh polling rate it's gonna set to 1000 debounce time warning this is advanced user feature please read the reading before changes value recommended value higher or equal to 10. okay so increase this lod what happens if you make it high how high does it get Hello. Oh, so there you go. Here you can kind of see the lights here. Oh, so basically the lights here is every time you press, so I have two levels, right? So when I press this DPI button in the bottom, it turns red, which we know is 400. Uh, and when we turn this, it turns to 800. You can see in the bottom. Um, so that's that's all that. Uh, so I don't know if I can keep an RGB run in here at all times. So let's, let's just try like blue maybe. Um, but again, it doesn't look like it's just for the mouse. Maybe they don't want it to be some sort of active usage, but uh, we're gonna put 800 as a uh, as as blue, honestly. Red and blue. Yeah, this is blue. It's hard to see in this camera. Not the best, but blue. Um, that's it. That's that's kind of like the software that I want to show you guys. And now let's play. Some All right, let's try out this mouse with a famous. Uh, Aim lab uh, training, uh, grid shots. Let me just move this mic near the mouse so you guys can hear the clicking sound. And let's begin. So let's start. I'm gonna use a pure figure trip grip. As you can see, I'm not going to show you like the whole thing, but this is before any warm ups or anything. So, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty close to my high score, but this is way above my average. So, you know, if you're a finger trip, um, if you're really a finger trip enthusiast and you really want to try something new and all the mouse just don't seem to be it, I really think you should give this a shot. This is definitely the wired one. So, 70, and then I would wait till Black Friday or a good, you know, Amazon Prime Day. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys liked it. And I will catch you guys on the next one. A happy gaming. Peace out.